Curious Chicks here, and today we wanted to talk about vegan food. We know that vegan food has become relatively popular, and there's a lot of different meat substitutes or dairy substitutes, so we thought that we would just give them a try. It'd be nice to try like pinpointing and trying each one just at, on their own to see if it really tastes like the real thing and if it tastes good at all, so yeah. So why don't we give it a try? Now we have prepared our vegan food and we are ready to taste test. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I think okay. so. Okay, <laughs> all right. So we are going to start with the scrambled eggs. And what's really interesting about it is that it comes in this egg-like carton, but you open it up and it's actually powder. It's just this powder that you have to mix with water and then you just and then you just whisk it and you it. whisk it and you put it in the frying pan and scramble it up as you cook it like regular eggs. Yeah. So all right, let's try this. It's yellow at least. We oh, did. Uh, it's not coming apart. We did flavor it with some pe salt some and pepper. Salt and pepper. As, as you would. Did. As you would yeah. with. Yeah. Get a big eggs. bite. This is bigger. <laughs> I can't uh, like it. It's, it's like so all big. clumpy. It is. Why is it so clumpy? Because it's not eggs. Perfect. <laughs> How do you say mushrooms? It does. It like, kind of has that texture yeah. of a mushroom. It doesn't have the texture of a real egg. It tastes, I don't think it tastes like an egg at all. Not at all. Yeah. No egg flavor whatsoever. You know, the ingredients has nothing to do with mushrooms. The ingredient says whole algal flour. That's why. That's why it's all Whole fluffy. algal protein. Mm -hmm. Modified cellulose, cellulose. Okay. So algal is like, you know, algae or like seaweed kind of. This is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, and soy-free. So. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Like, I like mushrooms, so. Yeah. I kind of want to put some soy sauce over it. <laughs> it actually would be okay with Soy sauce, like it's kind of Asian because yeah. it's mushroomy, right? Mm -hmm. Other than look like them, I don't think it's anything like eggs. Not at all. And it's just so funny because it's the one thing that was packaged almost like as if it was, the, well that and the cheese. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, it's not bad. It just doesn't taste like eggs. So I wouldn't use it to replace something that you want that tastes like an egg. Yeah. I agree. It uh, looks like eggs, but doesn't taste like eggs, and I wouldn't use it to replace eggs. I would use it to maybe replace mushrooms. I think I would be curious to know if people that don't like mushrooms, if they like this, if they think the same thing. All right. All right. Moving on. Yep. Moving on to the cheese. So this is provolone slices here. Dairy-free, cheese alternative, non-GMO, vegan, lactose-free, casein-free, and soy-free. Okay. All right, so many free. It's like very free. It smells like cheese. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. It tastes like it. It tastes more like an American sliced cheese. It has a texture more of an American sliced mm. cheese. Like not really true provolone cheese. Mm -hmm. I wonder if can, this can be melted. I would think so. We try it. What is it made out of? So this one, filtered water, coconut oil, modified food starch, potato starch. Mm. So starchy. Yeah. Interesting. Is that healthy for you though? The food, I'm, it's carbohydrate. It's just starch, but it does have, because of the coconut oil, it does have you know a good amount of fat still. So. But I don't taste any coconut. Mm -mm, I don't taste anything all. like that. But actually, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I'm i not a big American cheese lover. You know, I'd rather have like like the real provolone cheese or sharp cheddar or mozzarella. But like, mm -hmm. I, I never actually really eat American cheese. But um, if I wanted to have some sort of substitute, I, I'd probably I'd eat it. Okay. All right. Moving on. It's better than I thought it would be. And next we have our smart bacon. It's meatless veggie bacon. Uh, this one is non-GMO. So this bacon actually looks, I think you just, well, it doesn't look like bacon. You know, it doesn't, 
I mean, it's long like bacon, but... Turkey bacon, even? Doesn't... It's crispy-ish. Crisp. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't it smell like... It's hard, kind of sandpapery no. feeling. Okay. okay. Mm. Not my favorite. It's not bacon. It but doesn't taste like bacon. I don't know what it tastes like. Dog food? No. <laughs> it doesn't taste as bad as dog food. <laughs> not that I've had it. It tastes like fake meat. <laughs> it does. It's just, it's just salty. salty. Oh, at least it has some crispiness along the edges or something. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it with some egg. I don't, I don't, I don't care for it. Let me, let me see. Wow. So this one, main ingredients is water, soy protein isolate, vital wheat gluten, soybean oil, soy protein concentrate, textured wheat gluten. So, yeah, lots of soy and wheat, mm -hmm. which, for me personally, I can, I wouldn't consider this healthy in any way, even though it's, you know, vegan. Um, simply because eating soy protein isolate is actually not healthy for you. And if you're trying to cut out gluten, then this is obviously not going to work for you either. Um, but it has no GMOs. And it has no GMOs. That's probably one of the things that's got going for it. But it's still bad for you. Why wow, you ate the whole thing? I just did. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I can. Okay. That's okay. okay. All right. Moving on. The last one we have is Satan. Okay. So this one is pulled barbecue. So I'm expecting a very barbecue-like flavor by West Soy. And so Satan is like a type of wheat protein. And so let's go ahead and try it. Ready for this one? Mm-hmm. Looks like beef jerky. <laughs> it's like barbecue beef jerky. Because it's a little bit tough. Yeah. I don't like the texture. Clumpy. Because like these fake meats don't have real meat texture and they're more kind of chewy in nature. Yeah. Chewy for sure. Like yeah. The eggs. Mm -hmm. the eggs were chewy. Even though it's crispy, it still kind of has a chewy texture. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely chewy. And not... It, the barbecue flavor is... Helps it a lot. But just the texture itself of, of it is not my thing. Yeah, I mean, if it were in... Maybe if you, you like, made a pulled pork sandwich out of it and you like got some bread and then you can put some of the fake cheese with it and, you know, doctor it up. I mean, you can even add barbecue sauce to it. I mean, if you're vegan and you want something similar, then I mean, it, it should be close enough, but it's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> or if you do like a potato like hash thing with it it might be good hmm. maybe let's just but say i would say i would say this one the barbecue pulled barbecue for me was better than the bacon oh yeah i agree i think i think the egg tastes the least like what it should be like in all aspects, like texture, flavor, at least this had the texture going on and it could pass as some sort of like meat derivative, <laughs> but this, the egg was just the weirdest. But I guess if you're vegan, you just have to be okay with that kind of a texture quality. I think if you have a textural issue, you're very sensitive to textures, I don't know, I mean, you would have a harder time being vegan. Yeah. I mean, I'm more sensitive to textures. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I actually don't like like real eggs that are hard boiled, or like I don't like that texture. And so that that same kind of texture, that sort of like rubbery feeling, is what I get from this pulled barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm not as sensitive to textures, so the textures don't bother me. Uh, I just more I'm more about the the feeling of the actual thing, and I I don't I didn't get that. So. Would you eat any of these again? Me? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. No. No. Because <laughs> I don't have a reason to. I 
Well, I personally don't, so. Yeah. I don't either, but if I were to eat one again, it, this cheese actually was tasted like cheese. It, it pretty much resembled cheese. I, yeah. That would be okay. And maybe the eggs if I was in a mushroom mood. <laughs> well, that was that was an interesting experience. That's very educational. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in trying different vegan foods, then you might want to try one of these. Um, specifically, I would say the cheese. For me, that would be a good choice. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel, Curious Chicks channel, yay! And also give us a thumbs up or give us a comment, we'd appreciate it. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.